Good evening, America. Welcome to New November Presents. Truthfully, XL. It is slightly three o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. So, excuse me if I'm a little raspy. Uh, but I got a slight story to tell, or I'm over a teaching moment for the youth, the young niggas out there listening. So, here it go. <laughs> it's not a story time, but you could definitely light your J's because I did. Now, in high school, it was probably like, my yeah, it was my senior year, and me and this white girl was dating. And if you are hip to my channel, hip to my story times, there was this story about when I fought this future NFL player uh, over my girlfriend, and she turned out to be fucking with this nigga, the same white girl. Anyway, um, so she, her dad was. A racist. He was. He didn't like black people. I mean, he he was selective with it. He fucked with a few, but he didn't like niggas like that. And I, if you not cannot tell by my voice, I am a nigga now. Mm hmm. She uh, he was so racist that he made her move to another school her senior year because she was so in love with this black guy, me. Mm hmm. So he moves her. All like about twenty three miles away, she got to stay with her grandma and shit. It was like that. It was old school racism. It was, it was damn near lynching nigga racism. You hear me? I was scared of him though. So me and her can't tell you to talk, you know, because I got feelings for her. You know, I'm, I I have affections for this girl. So I go let her punk ass daddy scare me away. So. She ended up going to school out there and prom roll around. Mind you, it's our senior year. I didn't go to homecoming because her dad was like, I'm going to have people watching uh, watching my daughter. And if, if you're with her, I'm going to pull her out of that. And I'm like, I ain't trying to have her go through that. You feel me? Even as a young nigga, I was solid. I was like, man, whatever. I'm going to let her enjoy her night. So I gave the ticket to my homeboy and told him to watch her. He did a fantastic, fantastic job. I, I I commend him to this day. Thank you, homeboy. And so prom happens, and I'm like, I'm t- we having a conversation. I'm like, I'm not going to my prom. She's like, why you not gonna go? I'm like. Because I only got feelings for you. I'm not trying to see none of these bitches. I don't give a fuck about these bitches. I just, I'm just going to just sit this out. I'm like, you could go to yours, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you love, you know, girl stuff. Girls love prom. They love to dress up. They love to, you know, do their girl thing. You feel me? So she goes to the event. It's about, I don't know, maybe 2, 3 in the morning. Maybe. And mm, Jay went out. Hold up. And she um she on the phone with me, telling me how her night went or whatever. And she said that she went with some some nigga. We ain't gonna name no names, but she went with some nigga with a really white name. So I knew he wasn't black. I said, so what What did you do? You and this young man do? You know, they danced. They, they went to the after party. Like, Whoa! Went to some type of after. What was y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Well, we chilled. I knew him from here and there, whatever, 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 whatever the case was. It was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So I asked, did anything happen between you and this young man? She say, at first she tried to deny anything, you know, girls. And then it come out and she was like, they fuck. It ain't just come out, but, you know, after hour, what seemed like hours of interrogation, she come out, oh, yeah, they fuck, whatever. My little ass was heartbroken. Heartbroken. I'm heartbroken right now, but I, like, like, I was just thinking, like, to myself, is anything worse than 
how you feel right now. And this is where this story came up. And I said to myself, thinking back, like like an old nigga, like if I can speak to myself as a young nigga. Speaking to all the young niggas out there, don't let no bitch take away what the fuck, what little time you got left on this world with your friends and your family, bro. Like, you feel me? Because, like, don't let no female come between you and your prom, you in football practice, you in, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that, anything that you, you, you feel like, damn, that's missing out, you missing out for a female, don't be missing out for a female is what I'm telling you. You're too young. Live your life. Live your life, man. Really, you know what I'm saying? Explore the world. And I know I sound like an old nigga, but I'm dead ass, bro. Save your money up and explore some shit. Rent out some things. You know what I'm saying? Leave your mark on this motherfucker before you leave. Because it's, it's, it's too much money and too much experiences out there to be, you know what I mean, missing out. I'm not saying don't chase love and don't be in love and don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't sound like no old bitter nigga. But at the same time, Motherfucking be your own man and stand on what you want in life. Because you never know, you may miss out on some fun shit. Meanwhile, the person you missing out on it for getting digged down by some white boy. What? I was broke. Broke broke physically, mentally. No money broke, broke, nigga. I was fucked up at that time in my life. And it felt even worse. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? So, real shit, man. Stay on your shit. If you, like I say all the time, if you a job, if you a work nigga, go to work. If you a school nigga, go to school. If you a hustler, get that motherfucking money. But don't let no no pussy come in between you and, and the end goal. And that is uh, self-preservation and making, making the most you can out of your life. Thanks for listening, man. It's 4 or 6 in the morning, and I'm out.